this is one of the coins I'm the most excited about in the future. And I'll tell you guys why. So, one of the reasons why is that the price right now, the value is insane. I thank the SEC. For those of you that don't know what's going on right now, the SEC is suing Ripple because they are saying out of the four tallies that they use to um, determine if something is a currency or a commodity, they are saying that XRP is a commodity and not a currency, which is actually ridiculous. And uh, SEC, the SEC is not going to win this case is my final prediction. We will find out in the near future. But the fact that this is going on has actually just put a hammer down on the price. There's The price is just staying. And if you look at it, um, when Bitcoin was starting to make its bull run back in the beginning of December, late November, XRP went up a little bit to like 60, 70 cents. And then the SEC lawsuit came on and it went right back down. And what happened to Bitcoin? What happened to Ethereum? What happened to all of those other altcoins and just stable coins? They rocketed. Well, XRP was just sitting there. And the I can explain to you guys so much why it's it's insanely undervalued right now. And I have a huge, huge position in XRP. It's it's gonna make me rich, I think, someday. And I think it's going to make me rich in the future. And I'm going to tell you guys why. And one of the reasons is many banks, including banks in China, in Europe, in, in Asia, in Middle East, the Middle East, in Africa, they are adopting XRP as a coin that they're using for, for transfers and for holding some value. And all these different companies, well, the SECs in this lawsuit, they're buying up on this thing, guys. They're buying up at such a low price. It is a steal. So the point I was trying to make with all these other stable coins that have rocketed and all coins that have rocketed, well, XRP is still sitting there so low, is that XRP, if you put them next to each other in comparison, this is just one of the many reasons why I think is like it could be sitting at three, four, five, six. Six bucks right now, all the way up to the, that's what I think like right now it could be worth. I'm not even joking, you guys. It has not moved because the people fear this SEC lawsuit. And one of the reasons I think this SEC lawsuit is going to benefit Ripple is because they are in close cahoots with the SEC right now discussing about how can, like, to, in better words, I'm struggling to articulate what my thoughts are right now, but because I just have so many things going However, they are going to be one of the first currencies that the SEC totally has gone through the laws, gone through the suit and everything, and then approved. That's my prediction. And I think when they get approved, it's going to benefit them. It's going to give a news factor. It's going to be all over the news. They're going to get exposure, which the exposure doesn't matter. Again, guys, don't invest in a crypto like Doge just because the hype about it and what the media is doing about it with Twitter and TikTok influencers, YouTube. Don't ever invest in a crypto. That's one of my, I'm not a financial advisor, but that's one of my biggest, um, rules for myself is don't fall for the media tricks, fall for the fundamentals, no matter what, whatever is happening, if you truly believe in that and you know the fundamentals behind whatever you're investing in, listen to that. Don't listen to the hype. Turn that noise off. That's all background noise. That's going to screw you up. It's going to make you lose money. We're trying to get rich here and you don't want to listen to that. Just focus on the fundamentals that XRP is going through right now. Mass amounts of banks all over the world investing in this. And China, they're very smart, very smart country and not a big fan of some of the things they've done, but they, they're very intelligent and you got to watch what the big guys are doing. Guys, seriously, watch what the rich people are doing. Despite all this media coverage, especially about Bitcoin and everything, like watch what the rich people don't watch what they say, watch what they do. OK, that really matters because there's a lot of deception going on right now where I think this is just. This is just some thoughts I have in my head that some people might call me crazy. Some people might agree with me. I'm sure it's about 50-50. And that's why the price is sitting so low right now, but it still has that set push and it's worth 40 cents despite the SEC lawsuit is the fact that despite all this going on, it keeps the price down. It keeps the price down so they can load up. They're all talking to the in the media and everything like that, saying the SEC is going to screw XRP, but they're loading up on it. Why are they doing that? Like, there's something going on here, 
And we all got to get in on this because it's going to blow up. I'm telling you guys, XRP is going to make me a lot of money. And I hope, I hope you guys look into it too. Don't listen to what I'm saying. Look at it yourself. And I, I go on these tangents when I'm making these videos. I mean to make them a couple minutes long, but they end up being a lot longer because I start thinking about more and more. I like to describe things exactly how I'm thinking it so you guys can understand it. And I can understand it. This is teaching me reading stuff to you guys. And so basically, buy Ripple. <laughs> like, don't listen to me. That's what I'm doing, though. I, I'm stocking up on it. I put more money in it every week um, because despite all this bad information about it, it's passing the media test and it's still sitting at about 40 cents right now. And I think as soon as this SEC lawsuit is going to end, it's going to rock it. And another fundamental reason behind it, despite all the noise, is the fact that right now I'm seeing things where um, people are transferring Ethereum and Bitcoin between wallets and paying people, and the cost transfer fees are insane. Now, I don't know if you guys knew this. Um, to my understanding, this is a new understanding for me over the last few months. Is um, I don't know so much about Ethereum as I do Bitcoin, but Bitcoin is going to be a reserve currency. It's it's or it's going to be a reserve, less like a currency. It's going to be a thing that companies and people hold their value in because it can't inflate and there's a set amount of circulation in it and it cannot inflate. So it's going to be sitting at a certain price and or a certain amount of Bitcoin. And it's just going to keep going up as more and more people trust it and put more money into it. It's like digital gold. And it's not going to be used how people think it is as the future where everyone's, you're going to Taco Bell and you buy a 12 pack of tacos with the Bitcoin. I don't think it's going to be like that. That's my opinion. I think it's going to be more of a thing people sit on as like a, an appreciating asset. And I can get way more into about appreciating assets later in another video. Now, XRP, on the other hand, I think this could be the transaction one. Um, the prices and fees about XRP are set, to my understanding, at a certain rate that won't change. And it's faster. It Bitcoin can only allow, uh, it's I think it's four transactions per second. That's why sometimes it takes like 30 minutes to send a Bitcoin somewhere. Now, XRP is much, much faster than that. It can take a matter of three seconds to send XRP somewhere. And XRP, Bitcoin, all these are going to be very volatile for the next so many years, whatever like that. However, I think in the future, XRP is going to be not so much a value holding asset. I think it's going to be more of a a better alternative to using the US dollar because the US dollar is hyperinflating. I don't even want to get more into that. Don't keep your money in the US dollar right now, guys, because you are losing money by it sitting in your bank. People put a lot of money in their bank. They have big savings accounts. It's depreciating every day, like 3% a year. It's actually even higher now because how much money. It, it makes me cringe holding, in, holding on to money in the bank. I hold a certain amount of money because you need cash. You need to buy things right now. And not everyone's spending Bitcoin and crypto on tacos. So can't do that yet. But someday, future, very soon, I think. Yeah, this can change the whole world. But XRP going to go up a bunch. I think it should be sitting at like 3 to $6 right now, which puts me at a lot of money if it does that. As soon as the SEC lawsuit's done, to sum it up, XRP is going to be worth a lot in the future. I think it's not a reserve currency or a reserve asset. It's more of a transaction asset, but it's a great one. Look at what the rich people are doing, guys. That's all I'm going to say. And that's the end of this video. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.